Hello my little woolies. In this tutorial you will learn how to knit a clutch bag in Heron One Stitch. I'm giving you the instructions for the size and the stitch pattern that I chose, but you will see how to adapt it to any size with the yarn and needles you have using your own preferred favorite stitch. As usual, you will find the written instructions below this video on the description box. There is a link for you to my website, sowoolly.net. I've been rushing to finish this bag because it's a surprise for someone special. And even though I wanted to knit it in t-shirt yarn, there was none left in my stash. So today, we are using three strands of a lovely cotton yarn left over from another project. So you will need 100 grams of cotton yarn, number 3 or DK weight, 15 millimeters knitting needles, US 19, one wooden bottom of almost 6 centimeters diameter, you can choose whatever you want, scissors, tapestry needle and measurement tape. Before starting, please check your gauge. 13 stitches equals 4 inches or 10 centimeters in herringbone stitch. In case you want to make your clutch bag with a different gauge, I mean using smaller knitting needles, and you want to vary the size, my clutch bag is 21 centimeters with around 8 inches. You just have to knit a swatch with the needles and the yarn you want to use and then you have to decide how wide you want it and now you have to put your swatch over the measurement tape or rule. I had here around 20 stitches and it's 11 centimeters. If I duplicate that 40 stitches in this gauge will be around 22 centimeters. So that's how you measure and count how many stitches you need to custom using the stitch you want with the yarn you have and the needles you want. If you're following my pattern we have to custom 28 stitches. If you're working with a different gauge you need to custom always an even number of stitches. That's the only restriction. For this demonstration, I'm casting on less stitches. Now we're going to learn how to knit the herringbone stitch. First and every other row, right side of the work. Knit two together, but not as usual, through the back loop. Take the first two stitches through the back loop and drop the first stitch only. The second one needs to stay on your left hand needle and repeat. Knit two together through the back loop and drop only the first stitch. That's everything you need to do. Knit two together through the back loop and drop the first and repeat. If you need continental style, that's the way you do it. Knit two together through the back loop and keep repeating. Ending the row with knit one. Second and every even row. Curl two stitches together. And drop only the first one. Keep the second one on your left hand needle and repeat. Curl two stitches together and drop the first one. Purl two and drop. Purl two 
and drop one. If you need continental, pour all two stitches together and drop one. And repeat. until you have only one stitch on your left hand needle. That's a purl stitch. And that's it. You need to repeat these two rows until your rectangle measures 13 inches or 33 centimeters approximately from the cast on row. I have been needing more rows and this is the real rectangle. So now it measures 33 centimeters from the cast on and it's time to measure your bottom. Mine is around 2.3 inches wide. Put it over your work and count how many stitches you have to bind off. In my case, I have to bind off six stitches. Next, we need to center the six stitches or the number of stitches you have to bind off, leaving the same amount of stitches on the right side and on the left side. For my pattern, I have to knit 11 stitches in herringbone stitch, then I am going to bind off six and then I will have another 11 in the other side of the bottom hole. On this demonstration, I will have less stitches on each side. So now I have three. You should have 11 if you're following my pattern. And it's time to bind off net wise. So net one, knit the next, all of them through the back loop and pass one stitch over. And repeat. until you have the same amount of stitches, counting also the one you have on your right hand needle with the working yarn attached. And finish the row knitting in herringbone stitch as we did before. On the following row, we keep knitting in herringbone stitch. It's a wrong side row, so we have to purl two together and drop the first. Purl the last one. And now we have to cast on the number of stitches that we closed in the previous row. So for the original pattern, we have to cast on six stitches. And finish the row, knitting your herringbone stitch. Purl two together and drop the first one. Purl two together and drop the first one and end the row with purl one. Now we should count how many stitches we have. We should have the same amount of stitches that we cast on, 28 in this case. So we keep knitting and if your button has a different size, it's important to put it on the rectangle now to see how many more rows need to be knitted. In my clutch bag, 
two more rows were enough. If you drop two stitches by accident, no worries. Put the second one back to the left hand needle and keep knitting. I'm going to finish this row. This is the right side of the work and I'm going to knit another one from the wrong side and then we are going to bind off. Now we're going to bind off so knit one, slip the next as if to purl, and pass the first stitch over this last one. And now comes the repeat. Knit one, pass over, slip one, pass over, and repeat. Knit one, Pass over, slip one, pass over, knit one, pass over, slip one, pass over, knit one, pass over, slip one, pass over. When there is just one stitch left, you can cut the yarn leaving a tail long enough to sew on the side of the back and pass it through this last stitch. Here we should give a little tuck to our work. And now with the real rectangle we are going to join one side first. So you should thread your tapestry needle. And we're going to measure. You decide where you need to fold your back. What I did was to measure 14 centimeters, 5.5 inches approximately, from the bottom edge and so on. First one side and then the other. And that's it. Join the other side and enjoy your clutch pack. I hope you really loved this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy knitting.